Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome Tito Rendas. Professor Rendas is Executive Dean and Assistant Professor at Catolica Global School of Law in Portugal, where he co-coordinates the Masters in Law on Law in a Digital Economy. Tito also holds visiting teaching appointments at Freie Universiteit Berlin and Stockholm University, and has been an agent for the Portuguese Republic before the Court of Justice of the European Union in several procedures on topics at the intersection of law and technology. Okay, Tito, you know about your challenge. Telling us what, if anything, is wrong with the European Commission consultation on the future of telecoms and connectivity. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Caroline, and uh, thank you also for the invitation. So, um, if I were to identify one main issue with the consultation, it's that it's not exactly what it purports to be. So, it purports to be a public consultation, and uh, in my view, for a public consultation to be properly qualified as being public, two requirements must be met. First, uh, and quite obviously, the consultation must be publicly accessible and it must allow for anyone to submit their answers. And that requirement, of course, is fulfilled. The consultation can be easily accessed through the European Commission website and you know, people like you and me can uh, submit their answers. But I think that uh, that formal requirement is not enough. For a consultation to be truly uh, public, the questions need to be formulated in a way that allows all interested stakeholders to provide their input. And naturally, the questions need not be so basic as to allow all lay people to uh, participate. But people who are interested and people who have some decent level of knowledge about the topic must be able to uh, meaningfully participate. Now, if we focus on the fair share consultation, which is section four of the survey, I honestly doubt that people like you and me, or most of the people uh, listening or seeing this podcast are able to answer most or any of the questions in any meaningful or in any useful way. Just, uh, we just need to consider the very first question, which asks participants to quantify their direct investments in network infrastructures that are capable of optimizing traffic. or the second question. The second question asks about our total planned future investments in network infrastructure until 2030. Or the fourth question, which asks for a quantification of the increase of traffic through your networks over the last five years. Now, uh, quite obviously, none of these questions are addressed to people in the public. Instead, they seem to be very much addressed at one and only one class of stakeholders, which are the telcos. Then if you move to the final part of the survey, you will find questions about whether a fair share mechanism should be based on direct payments from content providers or rather on contributions uh, to a fund. So if you take all these uh, questions together, it seems that the whole questionnaire reads very much like um, an exercise in begging the question. So it presupposes that a fair share mechanism should be introduced and the only relevant questions that need to be addressed are how much should the compensation be and how it should be paid but the question we should be asking is not so much how but whether whether we should have such a thing as a fair share mechanism at all and that's what the question are the questionnaire in my view should focus on uh thank you tito so basically it, it's actually funny because one of our other guests, Dean Bubbly, also said it, it's a beg the question exercise <laughs> so that you, you, your feeling is shared by, by other experts. But as, as you said, so it's, it's a public consultation, but the public is limited to one stakeholder, the telcos. Um, although I, I've invested in a router, I, I would like to say in terms of infrastructure, <laughs> maybe I should answer to the consultation. <laughs> um, and, and as you said, um, it, it seems to build on the premise that a fair share uh, is, is a done deal when the rationale behind such a fair share is not actually questioned, and it should be. Exactly. Um, so uh, let's hope that this was an exploratory consultation. Uh, it is normally procedure requires that it is followed by a proper 
consultation. We will see if we go into proper mode in the future at the European Commission level. And uh, hopefully experts will not be discouraged yet, like yourself and can still contribute uh, with your expertise on net neutrality, fundamental rights, and those type of aspects and user rights in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.